Oh, Jesus. Uh, so there he is, Robbie Madison. Robbie Madison. Robbie Madison, you are the fucking man. Nah, Dick Clark's the man. <laughs> Dorks around the world. You know, we've actually got a, a bitch fight here going on between two people from Australia via our show. Oh, you mean uh, our listener? Yes, that's right. Uh, okay, gonna, well then we, this uh, is this is this is a good time for emails and shout outs. Some of y'all right might, might remember a week or two ago that uh, we got an email from a fellow down in down under in Australia that told us that everybody that up in Melbourne was uh, basically considered the Wisconsin of Australia, which as Melbourne, we all yeah that was it. Melbourne is the Wisconsin right. of Australia, right? And here in the states, we all know that's just the worst insult you can give anybody. Uh, anyway. We've got an answer here from Kerry18. Now, the other guy's name was something like, what, Ashley or something? You couldn't tell if it was a guy or a girl. What was the guy's name? Carol or something? Now, this one's Carrie. So what's with you Aussies down there naming yourselves ambiguously like this? You can be either or. What is up with that? I guess if you, you know, oh well. Jonathan M., you fucking pussy. Melbourne may be the Wisconsin office of Australia, but Sydney is the Los Angeles. I guess. What the hell does that mean? Is a bunch of pussy down Is that an insult? <laughs> I suppose. Well, you got to take it into account. This is the Wisconsin from Australia, so let me try that again. Hey, Jonathan M., you friggin' <laughs> pussy, you. <laughs> Melbourne made me the constant of Australia, but hey, Sydney's the LA. I've been to effing sporting events to with more than 20,000 people in the past 10 years. How's about you? I, do you have any idea what he's talking about here, Tom? No. Me neither. No. Hey, I also go and see my team play when they're losing, unlike you bandwagon jumpers. So I'm guessing we're in the middle of some kind of a Australian rules football fight here. <laughs> I guess Because so. I doubt either one of them are flying over to you know Cal- California to see their team play. The Americans may have elected Bush, but we elected this arsehole Howard four times. Now a political joke time, too. We're, we are the arena of the world. Oh, my. All right, so uh, stop thinking you're better than people from either Melbourne or the U.S. and go F yourself. This from Kerry18 from the Wisconsin of Australia, Melbourne, eh? Well, that's uh, our episode of Dorks Around the World. <laughs> I'll make you an opening for that. <laughs> um, uh, that's all nice. right, let's see. I got, that's some, uh, nice. I got a bunch. Our of listeners them. loving each other. That's great. Well, you know, I, I kind of like the fact that we are like the anti-UN, Tom. Instead of facilitating love and peace, we've got these idiots fighting through our show from all the way around the world. Well, you don't have to call them idiots. Well, you're right. One of them's obviously an idiot. We're just not going to say which one, and they can just fight it out and determine which one it is. Yeah! <laughs> all right. Our friend Steve Parsons has sent us an advanced copy of the Cleveland Browns schedule, so I'm not sure if anybody's got this yet, but we've got the full schedule. Let me just read this off. Uh, well, he doesn't have the schedule. He's got their opponents. No, we've got the full schedule. September 7th, Northern Ohio Paraplegic Society. November 13th, they are at Taft Junior High School. November 20th, Cub Scout Troop number 101. Here we go. We're, we're going to move into October here. Uh, October the 18th, they've got a big home game against Eloise Mental Hospital. Uh, November 15th, uh, on the road against Korean Amputees. And they're going to finish out where they got Monday night game this year against the Lighthouse for the Blind. That ought to be fun. And uh, the Great Lakes synchronized swimming team is going to take them on for the final game of the season. So um, there's also been a couple of rules changes, Tom. I don't know if you're aware of for the Cleveland Browns. But when playing polio patients, the Browns must not disconnect any knee braces. And when playing the Blind Academy, the Browns must not hide the football beneath their jersey. Uh, rules that are the same as last year. A touchdown is the when the ball is carried over the goal line. This is just a reminder for Cleveland fans who might not remember what the fuck that looks like. <laughs> we are the Cleveland Browns. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there we go. Oh, man. Uh, that's the Cleveland Browns schedule. Thanks to Steve Parsons for sending us that one. Yes. All right, let's see here. What else have we got? Uh, that's our friend from Australia again. Uh, oh, you know, hey, man, remember that guy uh, Simba came around on our message board, right? Yes. All right, Simba, who we met through slumsboxedin.com. Yo, man, yeah. that was last year yeah, yeah. we was on the hip-hop site. Yeah. Well, we's back on the hip hop site, yo, getting some love from the homies. Why were we off of it? Oh, I don't know, man. We see somebody. It was a uh, SCI semi put up the clink for the for the for the karma cartoon, and then he put up the clink for a whole bunch of other cartoons. And man, these all these homies just rolling and laughing and saying, "Yo, this be funny stuff, yo." <laughs> <laughs> so hey, man, I think that's cool, man. We is accepted. <laughs> of course. 
All right, let's see here. This comes from James Taylor. Listen to this, Tom. This is from Wuss Rock champion James Taylor. Oh, it's the actual James Taylor. Yeah, I'm just going to go right on ahead out here and say that that is the James Taylor. I have no reason right. to believe that it's not. So since it's James Taylor, I'm going to read this email. Uh, hey, to you Cowboys fan. Sorry, I don't know your name. <laughs> You're always the other guy, dude. Yeah. Just want to express my sympathy to you for how rotten you must be feeling right now. Oh, Not God. because of your team losing, but because Wade Phillips wasn't fired. Oh, come on to boom. Yeah, he's right about that. Wow. Getting nailed by uh, James Taylor. At least he was sensitive about oh. it. Huh? How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! <laughs> 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 uh, all right, this comes from LeBrandon. Yo, what's up, my nigga? I typed it so you could say it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Don't get getting all excited. And if you are, then calm down. Don't get a big dick. Yo, man, I love your show. Tell that to the other guy, too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy. <laughs> you trying to call me out, man? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, uh, as usual, we uh, since we run our mouth all year, we've got to take it when this happens. Uh, this comes from Larry. What an embarrassment the Cowboys are. Big D and 44, I guess. Cocky ass yeah. cowboy fuckers. They just, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, on, on a side note, sorry to the other guy on the Bang Cartoon Show. Oh, now you're the other guy. I'm the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. You're the other guy. I'm okay. the other guy. All right. All right. All right. Hey, bang. What did one bald motherfucker with a shiny ass head on the pregame so call Rob Parker an idiot for for what he said about Rod Marinelli? Isn't that hypocrisy? Parker is full of crap. He said that he was trying to lighten the mood with the last question asked to Marinelli. How in the hell is asking Marinelli, do you wish your daughter married a better defensive coordinator? Trying to lighten the mood. What a stupid monkey spank. I'd love to shove a broom up his ass, or even better, I'd love to kick him so hard in his ass that the anal leakage will spew all out of it. Man, here we go. They just go. Well, now we're getting nasty. Boy, about anal leakage. Rage. These people. Rage. This is Barry from Detroit. Wait a second. Wait a second. He, he. You did, you couldn't see him. He was smiling and he was joking when he asked him. That's why. Oh, see, this is Barry though. For, he's from Detroit, so you can't blame him for a little rage, Tom. He he probably sure. got you know. I don't blame him at all. Carjacked on the way over to work before, <laughs> you know, he could even get out of it. He's got to go to work in an office. Doesn't know if he's getting paid this week. Jerome Bettis is his boss. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this comes from Paul, our friend over in England. Oh, this is an update about his Olympic hopeful son. Oh. Yeah, it was never the plan to get my son into the uh, Great Britain team for the Beijing Olympics since he's still only 15. Well, damn, it might have been a fucking help to tell us that back a couple of years ago, now, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, so I guess we'll be looking for him next time. Uh, in uh, 012. 012. Yeah, yeah. 012. Is there such a thing? I guess, 2012. All right, All right from mascot hopeful Hot Wheels... <laughs> uh, I don't want to be the show mascot because I'm fucking awesome. My emails bring the show from great to fucking awesome tits. There it is. That's his <laughs> phrase. See, so right now we're talking about him. Now, Tom, the show is awesome fucking tits. We're on the awesome fucking tits scale, whatever the hell that means. Awesome tits. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there he is. That's our boy. That's got to be our Hot Wheel right there. Uh, it's Dick, I think Dick Clark should be the new show mascot. Sure, man. We just wow, we should just assign it to Hot Wheels. Maybe we can get Dick Clark to do that with a Mexican accent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's Hot Wheels, and I just wanted to do that real quick so that the show could go from awesome to awesome fucking tits. Does everybody feel that now? <laughs> All right, from uh, our friend Cup on the Floor, Mark. Cup on the Floor. Yeah, he, he's been our friend for years. As a born and bred Irish citizen, I give you full permission to use the Irish nation and Irish people as the butt of many jokes of your people. Yeah, he's great, man. He's very cool. Yeah, he's a cool guy. I mean, considering he goes around, you know, bombing English people. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, that's all the emails that we have today. We would like to hear from more of you. This is the brand new year. The playoffs are here. We'd like to hear what you have to say. Um, you know, if, if you're a dork from... I want audio emails. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want to... an audio email. Yeah, if you go onto the website there, we've got a, a little thing hooked up there for show mascots, but if you just want to send us a little audio clip of yourself, you know, I think it'll accept up to a minute or a two-minute MP3 or something like that. There's an upload bar right there. Use it. Send us whatever you have to say. Uh, if you're stupid and you don't... If you're not stupid and you don't suck, we might put you on the show. I think our two Australian friends should send us their imitations of Dick Clark and Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> How would that be? I think they should sit together in a room like Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless and have an argument. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, mate. Okay. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we got to say. Yeah. Fight the power. Oh. 
Straight out of Skunk Patch Holler, North Carolina, it's time for Deep in the Huddle with Tar Heel. We must get to our newest star on the show to wrap this up, and that, of course, is Tar Heel. Tar Heel, our friend is sick. Yes, he's got tonsillitis. Is that what it is? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listening to him explain this, and then, of course, he's got to get into something that has nothing to do with that, but he talks about having it, talks about getting shot at the doctor and everything, and, well, this is how it goes. 